Hey makers, this is Thruveen and today I am going to talk about modern controls in Power Apps. And this is the part 1 of this modern control episode series. And now, in this episode, let's explore label, button, date picker, drop down, combo box and link control in depth. So without further delay, let's get started. Here we will talk about modern control along with its current limitation right now. So maybe in the future when you are looking this video, maybe it's possibility that some of the limitations has been removed. But what is the current state at this moment? Let's try to explore it. The modern control in the power apps are the preview feature. So you simply need to go to the setting gear from here. Open the general section and over here there is a feature available modern control and themes. Select it and make sure that it is turned on. Once you add it, if you go to the insert menu, you will be able to see two different options available over here, classic and modern. So depending on your requirement, you can choose appropriate control. So today, first let's focus on the modern control itself. And first, let's talk about the label and button control. And let's add the button control first. So here I added the modern button control. And this is how it looks like. Now let's rename the button over here, like my button. You can write on select event as well on this button. So it is similar like the classic control. So now let's just park the button and let's insert the label control. So in the classic control, the name was the label control. In the modern control, the name is the text control. So let's add that. Once you add that, this is how it is showing like this. Now let's apply some text label over here. So I'm just adding this is drawing. Now let's try to explore its property. So it has a text property like a label control. We can set up the font control over here and over here the font control is based on the theme that you have selected over here. So if you have selected any specific theme in the modern controls, depending on that, it will pick up the font from that. Font size, you can set it up from here, alignment, wrap properties there, auto hide. This is also good feature. Like sometimes there is a situation where your label height will automatically occupy its height. At that time, you can simply select this particular property. Also, there is a wrap property as well available, which you can leverage. Now, what is the difference between the existing label control versus this new text control? So the limitation here is it doesn't provide you some more formatting option like let's say for an example this is my label and I want to set up some sort of background color in my label. Here there is no such property available at this moment. Okay. So this is all about the label control. Let's park this over here. And now let's get started and talk about next control which is my drop down control. So let me just pick up here and search for the drop down. So I will be able to see drop down option. Let's add that on our machine. So here how the drop down is looking like. You can see that by default it is providing item 1, 2, 3 like this. Now let's set the drop downs properties. So I am just going to the tree view and you have observed one more important thing here. In classic component, you are always able to see drop down one, two, three like this. Okay. Now for all of this modern control, it is appending the word drop down canvas and then one, two or three. It is the difference between the classic and modern one as well. Now we have added our drop down. So let's select its item property, which is again similar to the previous one. So for this, let me just add one collection over here on my button. So I am writing on select event on my button control. So this is my button and on select, I'm just defining one collection to store the temporary country name. So let me just hit my button and initialize the collection. Now select this particular drop down and instead here, let's provide our collection name, collection drop down country. And this is how it looks like. It is showing you this kind of number. So now we need to configure a column for this particular drop down. So go to the field section over here and click on add a field and click on name over here. That's how it will add name underneath this drop down. So now when you open it, it will show you this kind of stuff. Now let's say, let's print the selected value from the drop down. Let me print my text label over here. And now let's copy the ID of this drop down, drop down canvas one, and let's add its selected property. So that will get using 
canvas dot selected dot whichever column name that you have provided as a part of your collection so let me select now the value friends and it will show you the value over here as a friends okay now unlike other drop down you can also select the default item over here so for that similar property is there default selected item and over here you can provide anything like let's say i just want to provide the uh, default property as uh, let's say usa so i can just write a condition filter my collection name is equal to usa and it will just show by default that property in the drop down now let me reset my control so what i will do is on my button let me reset my drop down as well drop down canvas 3 so my drop down id is drop down canvas 1 so let's reset it and now let's go here and click on the button so my uh, drop down is reset and by default you can see that USA as a property is showing me over here okay so this is all about the drop down now let's talk about the combo box property so let's go to insert and select the modern combo box option from here I am providing the same collection over here as well call country now in combo box you have a property that you can select multiple things from here but before that let's add a field over here so i'm adding a name field over here so this is how it is rendering as now i want to allow multiple selections so i will turn on this multi select option from here now let's select couple of values from here like india and france okay now i want to print the default selected value by comma separated then i can do it over here so let me copy the same label over here and instead of this drop down one let's copy the id of this combo box canvas one so i'm just copying this and let me just provide over here combo box canvas one dot selected dot name but it is showing only one but i want to have everything comma separated so i will change is selected items and before that i will just use concat operation so concat and then let's provide this as a source and which property we need name and then by comma separated so let's use comma separated and let's finish the bracket okay so that is how now you can see that it is showing me both the options over here which i selected if i change the stuff you can see that the properties are also being changed over here like this okay so all good now let's say for an example here also you can set the selected item property so default selected items and let's say for an example by default let's say if you want to select all currently i'm just providing my entire collection over here so by default it is selecting everything after that you can change anything but let's say if you want to select only two then over here you can provide default selected items according to your requirement okay so right now it is showing this and all good all right now let's talk about another control which is date picker control so what i'm doing here is i'm just adding one date picker control from there so i just added this date picker control now let me add one label control as well so i'm just copying and pasting the same control over here and now let's to, uh, talk about some of the expression over here so what i'm doing here is let's say when you open the date picker by default it is showing you the current date over here okay now let's say i'm selecting this date so i just wanted to print current date over here so for that i will just write an expression whatever your date picker id is pick up that so i just pick that up so date picker id dot selected date using that you will get the current selected date from the date picker now here couple of limitations are there with this particular date picker control let's say for an example if you want to change the default selected date into this date picker right now there is no such property like a classic control where you can define like what should be the default selection of your date picker so it's quite difficult to use this modern control into our real application at this moment but hopefully this issue will be resolved in the future and we can use this modern date picker in our day-to-day -day routine okay so make sure that this modern features are in 
preview at this moment it's not something that you can use in the production at this moment because some of the control has some of the limitations okay so specifically for the date picker i have observed that default selected date is somewhat uh, i have seen as a problem another thing is that over here if you look at this particular date picker uh, if you observe this it is showing you the date in this format okay so over here if we look at the format it is providing you only specific format option at this moment like when you open it up it is showing you three options like short long abbreviated and year month okay but let's say for an example if i'm typing here like in classic date picker there is an option over here like let's say if you type like if you need dd mmyy format okay it was allowing you but over here even if you write this it is not throwing you any error but on the other hand it is not even showing you any kind of reflection over here as well so these are couple of limitations at this moment with the date picker but hopefully because i personally like the look and feel of new fluent ui for this new date picker control but hopefully in the future it will be more stable and uh, we can utilize that in our projects okay so this is all about the date picker now let me talk about another control which is link control this is also one of my favorite control because the reason is that right now with the classic control we don't have such option like we always need to use html to generate the link for that now they come up with this link control so let's say here provide the text so let's say my company name is power platform trainings so i'm just providing the name of my company power platform trainings okay and let's say i just want to provide a link on that then there is a url option available over here so let's say this is my company site so i'm just copying this site from here going here and providing the link now what happen here is when you play this particular app and when you click on that it will specifically open this link directly into your browser window so this is another good control i can say in the modern control so that's it for today so to summarize we started with the label control and button control then we explored the drop down combo box date picker how to get the default selected item how to uh, set the uh, selected item from drop down and combo box what is the link control we talked about this now in the next episode we will talk about some other modern control in depth meantime if you like this series please hit thumbs up that motivates me and subscribe my channel because i have seen that most of you are uh, watching my video but not subscribing so please subscribe it so i get motivated and tell me in the comment section which modern control you wanted me to cover next if you are for the first time to my channel make sure you hit subscribe and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from me if you looking for power as power automate any power bi or power platform related training always visit my website and go to the upcoming training section where you can find all the details of my training programs meantime this is truvin signing off see you in the next session with some amazing content till then have a great day goodbye